Jackson with Jesse. Blitz, I'm going to the show tomorrow night. He's already out. Said come straight to the tour bus because we're hanging awesome. out. We're hanging out before. <clears throat> so I'm going. That'd be awesome. That was a great interview though from Jesse James. I think I think I did pretty good just winging it. I had you know, I, no preparation, just right. winging it like an mm-hmm. That that makes me maybe. That's why I'm so goddamn good. Absolutely. I don't think I, I don't think I get near the credit. Oh, I've told you many times about your interviewing skills. Thank you. But the one time he covered, and uh, Hall of Famer, Indiana, BRN. Oh, my God. $500 cash. $500 cash on the paper. Scotty Landers, hey, you're, you're at four ringer, Hall of Famer. Looking That's for five. Look, Hall oh, of he's, got, he's, he's got five locked. <clears throat> Please. I was going to say, the, his cover that he did in Jacksonville for the Bubba Palooza, he, he did ACDC. Oh God, it was. A, let me I, tell you about. Let me oof. tell you how good of friends I am with Jesse Dupree and how just he's the just the absolute salt of the earth. So we were doing these Bubba Paloozas when we were on Sirius XM, and we would go into a town, and we didn't have any uh, really opening type deal. It was about ninety minutes uh, long. It opened up usually with um, I think <clears throat> I think twenty five, and Carl opened it up with like a little ditty. Yeah. Then Spice Boy came on and did like 15 minutes. And then Brent. And then Brent came on and did like 15 minutes. And Miller. And, and then um, Miller came on and did like 15. I think Miller was one of the first couple. Uh, and then uh, Manson came on and did did about 20 minutes. Uh, and then it was intermission. And then the second, uh, it was like a 10-minute intermission. And then the second part of the show was, opened with me. I opened the second part. I did 20 to 30 minutes, and then Ned closed the show with 30 minutes. Well, we were in Jacksonville, and that's not too far from where Jesse lives. Jesse lives in Georgia, and I called Jesse up and go, Jesse, I got a, I got a big gig in Jacksonville. It's at this place. It's sold out. I'm not, I'm not, um, you know, I don't need to sell tickets. It's sold out. But God, could you come down and do like an uh, uh, an hour set? As like added value, and he's like, "Bubba, you're damn right. I can. Uh, <clears throat> we're not on tour right now. Uh, can I I'll, I'll scrounge up the boys to see if we can run on down there now?" I said, "Well, what do you need equipment wise?" So he gave me the guy's number that he has dealt with in Jacksonville. You know, with equipment, and I think the back end cost me like mm, twenty five hundred dollars. wasn't that much, and it was. I mean, I got it at I got it at cost. And so Jesse, at that time, Jesse was about thirty-five or forty grand a gig. That's what he was making. Mm-hmm. That's what the band. You know, he has to pay the boys and stuff and all that. And and he was he was about I think he was forty. I think he was forty k. And I so Jesse, I don't expect you to do this. You know, we're make I'm making money, but you know we're not. <clears throat> I'm not making the kind of money that could pay you for. It. I go, what do I need to get you? And he goes, Bubba. Give me twenty five hundred dollars so I can give each of the boys five hundred and I can put a thousand in my pocket. Twenty five hundred bucks. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's just that's that's just my boy. And that thousand was probably to pay for travel and all that. <laughs> oh really. yeah, he didn't make it he didn't make a dime. Yeah. He didn't put it in his pocket. He didn't he, he didn't make a dime. I'll give you guys an you guys want to know an Iggy? Oh yeah. You want to know a goddamn Iggy? I do. I like secrets. We always had to split Manson and Ned up because they are obviously the same person. What? Yeah. They were? So what we would do Man. is I'd always oh. have Man- The reason why Manson closed at Act 1 was because during intermission and during my 30 minutes, it gave him 45 minutes costume uh, change for uh for Donna to do the makeup and the costume and the they added these like these wrink these prosthetic wrinkles and stuff like that and then we had a we had a certain and and Ned was only lit in blue because you because it, it, it was dim but blue blue purples never white never never red blue and purples and that and, and then he would close the show and then we would have Donna's father-in-law Bob Blitz I don't think I've ever told this not all at <clears throat> once no. So we would bring Bob, who Ned was modeled after, right? Looks wise. So Donna's dad, stepdad, I think, um, was who Ned was modeled after. Well, we'd have him in the back, 
and he'd have the same clothes that Manson went out with. Mm-hmm. So as we, <clears throat> so Ned would close the show, people would go crazy. I'd get back up, and I would bring everybody out on stage to thank everybody. So I'd be like, okay. Thank you, everybody. Hey, I'll let, I'd bring the wives. I'd bring, sometimes my mom would be there, giving Manson time to tear off all of his makeup and to wash his face and stuff like that. And then I'd be like, and then I'd say, Manson. And Manson would come out in a, in a completely different outfit, the outfit that he wore, you know, for his act. Mm-hmm. And then I'd say, and he just, you know, he's probably out back, smoke getting high mm-hmm. from his big show he just put on. Give it up for Ned. And then mm-hmm. Ned, Bob, who Ned, would walk, and people would be like, how, yeah. how are they? I I thought, man, it was the biggest Santa Claus whodunit. I just, <laughs> I'm a showman, ladies and gentlemen. I can't help it. Jackson, make that a piece right there. That'll blow people's minds. Remember when uh, Jeff you. when Jeff Bird found out? That Ned was fake, he started crying. <laughs> Jeff Birds, he goes, Bubba, I swear to God, I feel like I've just been hit in the gut. <laughs> so, yeah. So I would bring Manson on fairly. I know no, I'd bring Ned, I'd bring, I don't know, I, I brought Ned on last when I was introducing him. But some, I thought maybe I brought Manson on last because it took him a while to tear everything on down and Ned was already ready to go. Mm-hmm. And Ned, Bob, would just sit in the back and eat. <laughs> And get, oh, yeah. and get free stuff. And I'd be like, but he would always try to go out and, you know, like be he seen trying and to stuff. go talk and to and everyone. I'd be like, I'm like, Bob, you can't go out. But like, you don't sound like Ned at he all. Couldn't, he couldn't even do the voice. No, he like, couldn't everyone, even try. Every, every, one of, every one of us were like, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah, he wouldn't even try. Ned. This is Ned. Like, everybody could do a Ned deal, right? Yeah, yeah. Except Bob. Right. Who was the guy that, I mean, it's like, Bob, all you got to do is, yeah, and so at, at the Howard Music Festival, we pulled the rib off. We brought Bob as Ned. Mm-hmm. And he started, I said, don't talk. He kept wanting to be interviewed. I said, don't talk. <laughs> so Howard comes to me. Howard comes to me personally and goes, Bubba, what's up with this Ned deal? I go, what do you mean? He goes, the guy that is out there on the red carpet doesn't sound anything like that. I go, Howard, it's it's not. He it's, kept going up to the, to the Howard TV guys. He uh, wanted to say, talk. Do you, yeah, do you want me to, want to interview me? Oh yeah, and so <laughs> you know, nobody. And I'm so I have to get a hold of Donna and be like, Donna, tell your dad that he's just supposed to say I'm too drunk. You know, yeah. just, and so we uh, we would always come back. See, when you'd go to a Bubba Palooza event, you'd never really get to talk to Ned because we would say Ned was too screwed up and he passed out. He blacked Which out. Might not be false, right? So anyway, that's the big Ned high spot. There you go. <laughs>